up YouTube um, this is gonna be a little thing in the beginning and then I'm gonna talk about some cards I got at the end for everybody that doesn't want to just hear me talk skip to the end and you'll see the two cards that I got from uh, I bought three packs of national cards uh, the national card day three packs and I remember someone told me that there's autographs in there I forgot who it was I'm trying to remember who it was I don't I think it was just another friend of mine that collects and I was surprised because I was like what I never heard that they did but shh, you'll see you'll see at the end so skip to the end I'll, I'll leave like the description I'll leave it in the description what time you can see the cards and the stuff if you just don't want to see the cards but I do want to talk about two things rant a little rant and then we'll get to the cards so the first thing I want to talk about is the Yankees boy 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 that game on Friday was hella upsetting um, I know Girardi is up f for his contract don't want to say that he's a bad manager because he isn't I mean he's he's gotten us close several times and I know we're the, we're, we're the Yankees and we expect to win every year but it's not easy it is not easy man because there's a lot of good teams out there a lot so people got to calm down they got to calm down you know and this was our rebuild year so I'm surprised we even got this far uh, I mean we were we were decent last year very decent but this year we're way better we're extremely better than we were last year so I mean we're only human people make mistakes uh, of course it was the whole turning point to me and personally was that whole chin hall um, getting uh, uh, the ball tipped off his, his uh, handle off his bat and he did I, I don't get how Girardi didn't assume that he didn't get hit because it didn't you, you know how people look when they get hit it, it definitely didn't look like he got hit and he just he didn't act very well either he's not a very good actor so I don't know what was going on with Girardi's mind but you know it's a split second decision it was it was a mistake and that was our downfall right there. It was just downhill from there. I was screaming at the screen like, "Yo, just do it. Just call." I, he loves to save his 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 uh the calls. He loves to do it. We're also one of the most successful teams when it comes to uh, um, reversing calls. So I I don't get why he didn't do it. Um, and his and his and the guy that was there behind the plate, Sanchez. I didn't trust him. I mean, he's a catcher. Why? Why is he not trusting another catcher? I don't. I, you know, Jordy used to be an ex-catcher. It's just it boggles the mind that he that he didn't trust him. There was a lot of situations where we could have, you know, minimized the damage. Like he should have he should have changed. Uh, um, you know, Chad. You know, uh, we we could question a lot of things. He could have done that. He could have he could have um, also not pitched Robinson so much and also not pitched uh, um, um, Batanzas as much either but you gotta you gotta get him work but he was overdoing it with them definitely overdoing it with them um, he was trying to stretch them out as much as possible and I get it you know sometimes you gotta do that especially in the postseason um, but gladly now it's Wednesday and you know two games are also under our belt, so it's tied, tied. To tomorrow's gonna be the final game. We're gonna be in Cleveland. We're gonna be reversing their 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 um clue bot again. We're gonna reverse him, and he's not gonna fail twice in a row. It's just not gonna happen. So things are looking a little bad for us <coughs> right now. I mean, we we had a chance to steal a game right there, and we didn't, but. It might affect them, you know. It might affect them if the Yankees get him uh, this, uh, sign him again, because this is his uh, last year on his contract, and also it's the last year on CC's contract. So CC pitches tomorrow. So I think CC's gonna try to pitch like a beast. Hopefully, he's gonna pitch. It's gonna be a pitching duel, and that's that's what I want to see. I want to see a pitcher's duel. I want to see the hottest hitters that we got right now. That's Bird. 
Castro's getting a little hot. Frazier's getting he's getting some hits in there. So is Hicks. So is um who else? Um Sanchez is getting hot. Uh and Aaron Judge is not he's not hot at the plate because he he keeps himself away from the, the breaking ball. But they're gonna keep throwing breaker balls, so he's gotta get used to them. He's gotta get used to hitting them. But he hasn't he hasn't done that yet. So I think we have a good chance. We'll see what happens tomorrow. If we strike first and we have better pitching than they do, especially our bullpen is way better than their bullpen, then we will be decent, you know. I think they should put all stops. I mean, they might they might put in uh, McGar- M- Montgomery because he hasn't pitched for a while. I think they, they should. I think they should put him in some, uh, in some point, form <coughs> if CeCe gets into trouble. Um, so that's what I want to say about the Yankee game. And the second thing I want to say, I kind of don't want to say it right now because I, I just don't really want to put more fuel to the fire. Just to say that Everybody knows I'm Hispanic. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick um, because of the change of the weather. Anyway, everybody knows that I'm Hispanic. That knows me. Obviously, my name says it all. But I just think that um, the whole kneeling down protest that the football players are doing right now—they're jumping on the bandwagon and from you know Kaepernick's doing. They're protesting but have no plan or demands or anything. They're just blanketing America. Dude, you guys are are just losing fans, man. You know, 50-50 people are... Con- you know, half the audience that watches you are conservatives. People that are patriots. All this stuff. Not the team. I mean, patriots in, in general. And... I just think it's it's nonsense. Honestly, I'm Hispanic. I get it. You know, there is racism in America, but it's not as as the way you guys think. I think you guys got to focus on the root of the problem instead of just trying to to, to bring awareness to it. What is the awareness going to do if you're not going to the root of the problem? Cut it where it starts. Damn, you guys don't understand how frustrating this makes me feel. I'm kind of not, like, I don't want to watch football either. I just want to escape. I mean, my life is not that great or not that awesome or whatever, but it's getting better. <laughs> There's days when I have good days, you know. And when I, when I watch sports, I want to escape. I don't want to listen to politics. I don't want to listen to any of that stuff. We broke the color barrier. Get over it seriously and work on the root of the problem not bring awareness what is awareness gonna do if you're not doing anything for the root of the problem i don't get you guys this it's nonsense you guys don't even have a plan of what you're doing so here's where i'm going to show you the baseball cards because hey i had to rant a little bit so i got these are I bought three packs for $1.99 um, of the baseball card, uh, 2017's baseball, National Baseball Card Day. So I got a Mankata, as you can see here. It's kind of backwards, but you know who that is. And then I also got an auto, Yuri Skureri, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that's his auto right there. And it was numbered from 175 and it's number 91 so for a dollar you can't beat that so there you go that's the hit right there um hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah that's about it i'll see you guys later